Welcome to Open Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Active Admin dashboard into your Rails application. So first let's uh, search for Active Admin. Click this first link for GitHub. Scroll down and we'll select this gem right here. Next we'll open up our app in Sublime Text. Open up our gem file. And I'm going to add this right down here. Also, since we're going to be using Devise along with Active Admin, I'm just going to add this gem in right now. So, Devise. Also, I'm going to clean this up. Save that. Now, let's open up our terminal and let's bundle install. Let's take a look at the documentation and we can see that the next thing we want to do is run Rails generate active admin install and since we're using it with device we're not going to add in user or skip users just Rails generate active admin install. So this should add the dashboard, JavaScript, CSS, and active admin um, config file. So now we're going to migrate and see the database. So to migrate, we're going to rake db migrate. And then to seed, rake db seed. So rake db seed also adds in the admin at example account that you see here and we'll be able to use that to sign in. So now let's start the Rails server. And we're going to go to localhost uh, localhost 3000 slash admin. The email is admin at example.com and the password is P A S S W O R D. Sweet. So, this is our dashboard for our Rails application. Just that quickly, we're able to get it installed. So, let's keep it moving. Well, first thing we'll want to do is create a new admin user. Your email at gmail.com and your password. Password. And then you can your email at gmail.com. And then we can just get rid of this test user that we created. All right, so for the theme, we're going to install a gem called Active Skin. So if you search, we can see a Git repo. And it's a flat skin for Active Admin. It looks really nice and it's super easy to install. So all we need is this gem active skin. Copy that. Go to our gem file right under Active Admin. Paste that. Save. Open up Terminal. I guess we can stop this for now. Um, and now bundle install. Cool. So next we have to include import active skin into the active admin css.scss. So in our application I'll search for active admin scss. Clean this up. And I'll add that in here. Save that come back to our dashboard and oh, need to restart the server cool so it's going again 
and now we should have our theme so perfect now we just need to get rid of this logo so to do that I'm going to add this line to the active admin SCSS that says skin no logo and you can see that change immediately perfect also in the github you can see that you can change the colors of the theme by placing these other variables into the same active admin SCSS just make sure that you put it above the import active skin if it's below it then um, this this um, file will be imported first and any changes that you add won't be set on you to your application um, thanks for checking us out and we'll see you in part two where we integrate this fully with our application